Evan here on your local election headquarters. Tomorrow, millions of voters will watch President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden square off in the first presidential debate of this election season. Two News reporter Adam Rive live with a look at the preparations underway behind the scenes. There will be few people in the audience tomorrow night, but the city of Cleveland is preparing for thousands of protesters outside the debate venue. Meanwhile, Republicans and Democrats working furiously today to reach any undecided voters that may be left. In Cleveland this week, several roads are closed, more patrol officers are on duty, and the Ohio National Guard is providing significant support. We have taken every precaution to make sure that uh, while people uh, exercise their First Amendment right to free speech that will be done in a safe and secure manner. City leaders are trying to minimize the distractions around the debate so voters can focus on the candidates and the messages. We have plenty of assets out there to take a look at any and everything, uh, no matter how small and significant you may think it is. And those political messages are still being honed. In such a divisive election cycle, a small number of still undecided voters could tip the results in key battleground states like Ohio. I think there are just more voters in play in Ohio. Oh, we're seeing that. I mean, Trump won the state by eight points. Most polls show he's behind and show, show that he is behind in this state, which means voters are moving more in Biden's direction. The most recent polls show a small Biden lead, but Republican Party Chair Jane Timken says her team is not focused on the current numbers, pointing to 2016 polls that wrongly called the race. We rely on our internal data modeling. Uh, we really see that the enthusiasm on the ground for the president is unprecedented, higher than it was in 2016. So we're looking forward to having a good election night. So far, the Republican Party has held a significant edge here in Ohio when it comes to in-person events. The president, of course, has held several in-person rallies, Vice President Biden opting for those virtual events. But that could soon change. On Wednesday this week, the day after the debate, Vice President Biden and Dr. Jill Biden will tour Ohio by train. And today, the campaign announced a significant ramp up in ad buys and the number of paid staffers they'll put on the ground here in Ohio. Live in Dayton, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.